going on, Samurais, and welcome to today's video. It's your boy, Sam, and happy holidays. Now, before we talk about today's topic, I want to remind you guys, if you're brand new around here and you're checking out today's video, make sure you go down and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the family. Also, remember to turn on the post notifications, and if you like today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me on all my social media at Sam Angelo. All right, let's talk about today's topic, and that is to learn about manual motion tracking inside of Final Cut Pro. Now, today's video is a little bit different. I'm not actually going to show you how to do that in this video. If you want to see the actual tutorial, go check out the link in the description. That should be here in uh, the next couple days as soon as that drops. But in this video, I want to actually show you the finished product that we did for our client. So we had a client who had a son who plays football. They were looking to get a scholarship for their kid. So they wanted a highlight video made. So they hired us to motion track a circle around their son on the football field. That way you can see exactly what he's doing and clearly identify him. Now, motion tracking during a sporting event can kind of be hard because their jerseys are very similar. The field's green. There's a lot of issues that can occur, especially when you're using an automated motion tracking system. But don't worry about that. I have some cool tips and tricks I will show you guys. If you guys want to see that video, again, that will be linked in the description of this video. But without further ado, let's check out the final product right now. Samurai, so as you guys can see, it is very uh, helpful to be able to motion track a circle or an arrow so you can clearly identify a player during a sporting event, especially if you're making a highlight video such as this one. Now, again, if you guys want to see that video, that will be linked in the description of this video. If you guys have anything else that you want me to make a tutorial about, leave that in the comment section below. Again, if you like today's video and you want more videos just like this one, looking at the final product, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're brand new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.